Hello everybody, my name is Charlie and I work for a company called Competitive Edge. I wanted to show you a brief demonstration of how I use Phrase Expander. First of all, I love the software. I think that Nagarsoft does a great job. The user interface is great. I use it constantly. We get a lot of customers who ask for their tracking number or the status of their order. When we, when we address that issue, we first send an email to the warehouse. So I type in the letter R because that's easy for me to remember. And you can see the second option is I first send an email to the warehouse. I press shift to execute this command and you'll see that it will create an email going to our warehouse. I send that to the warehouse to find out what the tracking number is. Then I come back and I press the letter R again. This time I want the first option. I want to let the customer know that we are going to keep them posted and we'll get that tracking number over to them shortly. I press shift and you'll see that it creates this reply to them and you can see the several sentences that it inputted for me saving me several hundred keystrokes. Several hundred keystrokes adds up to several thousand keystrokes in one day for me. We also get customers asking what our lead time is on, on shipping a product, how long it takes to get it to them. When I reply to them, I type the letter T for thank you for your email. I press shift and you're going to see that it replies to them. It types in hello, thank you for your email, and then I can address their question. One keystroke just saved me, what, 20 or 30 there. And if I type in ship for shipping time response, it shows the, the short, the hint that I've created. I press shift and there it is. So I can address customers consistently and professionally and then I can do a lot more thinking and address other tasks that are on my plate for the day. We get a, some customers who need a price installation sheet for some of the storage sheds that we sell. I type in the acronym SIE because that's how I remember it for shed installation email. I press shift and you're going to see that it not only creates an email for me but it puts it puts uh, shed installation, what I want in the subject line, it puts what I want in the body of the email, and it also creates a, a PDF. It attaches a file that I've created beforehand so that I don't have to manually go and do all this. So in about three seconds there, you saw how many keystrokes that saves me. We also get customers who where we need to collect on an invoice, and we need to put in how many days it's overdue, what the invoice number, and all that is. Well, Phrase Expander has created a way where I can create a dialog box. I type in the word overdue because that's how I remember it, and I press shift. It opens a dialog box that I've very easily created beforehand, asking me for the invoice number, the invoice date, and how many days it's overdue. I then press enter or click on OK and you can see that it enters that information into the, the body of the email exactly where I need it. The last thing I wanted to show you is we open uh, websites from time to time including our own but also if we want to look at the economic news data for the day I type in the word FOX because we often check Fox News I press shift and you'll see that it opens my browser to the exact website that I need it to. I can do the same for CNN or any website that I choose. Um, Phrase Expander is great. I recommend it to family. I recommend it to friends. I recommend it to you. I hope this is helpful.